you on the spot, you know, but not on a funny spot. Um, just two questions. Do you remember your first Premiership goal? Um, my first one was actually I scored in the cup when we were playing Newcastle. Yes. This was two seasons ago when I was with Watford. And I scored, it was against Newcastle in the cup. It was a header from a cross. You know, my, my true marker <laughs> scoring goes from, you know, from corners in my head. So Some fans call you headmaster. headmaster they, call, exactly. they call me too headmaster, but you know, <laughs> he's not playing anymore, so you're the new headmaster. I've, I've scored a lot of goals, quite a few goals with my, with my feet as well. So I'm trying to change that name. There. But, <laughs> you know, for me, I've got a talent. You know, I've got a gift in the air. And um, I, I try and play with that. You know, they always say try and use, you know, the God-given you know, God talent you've been given in. And for me, you know, I'm a good football player, but I'm very good in the air as well. And, and I use it to the best of my ability, you know. People know I'm a good defender, but yes. also know I'm a big threat up front, which is, which is a nice thing, you know. And I'm just, um, you know, it, it, thank God for the way things have gone so far. Lovely. The goal against Newcastle was in the cup. Do you remember yeah. the Premiership goal? Yes, I scored. We were playing, I can remember, we played, we were playing Reading. 2 -0. Yes, you remember that? <laughs> I remember that. Yes, yeah, we were playing and this was towards, I think it was in the last couple of games of the season. Yeah. And um, I was kind of disappointed because I hadn't really, really scored um, that season. So, um, obviously I had a bit of problems with the manager there as well. But um, in that game, you know, we, we scored the first goal, Marlon King scored the first one. Yeah, and, yeah. And then um, I think, no, I think it was nil-nil. And it's and funny I, that you played against him today. Exactly. You know, exactly. Now. <laughs> yes, exactly. So, um, I remember, and that, that guy actually scored with my feet as well. People called that guy a striker's goal. <laughs> so all these people that it was a sweet goal. Head, you know, headmaster, you need to change that because people called that goal a striker's goal. So I was very happy with the way I finished that because I tucked it in. Oh, no, <laughs> I was <sweet>. joking. <laughs> so no, I'm just happy that I was very happy to have scored, you know, scored a premiership goal that season. And, um, you know, even though we wanted to stay up, the main priority was staying up with Watford. Um, I was very, I was, you know, for me, my team comes before me. And um, I was disappointed that we went down. And, you know, for me, premierships where I want to be. Yeah. Premierships where, when I was watching Match of the Day and watching Nigeria before I got into professional football, premiership is where I said I wanted yeah. to be. And I've been working hard since day one to, to, to get there. You know, it's not hard. I mean, it's not easy. You know, I've been going through. It, it, doesn't, a lot it looks of, easy, but definitely it looks not easy. easy. Yeah, exactly. Definitely not easy. You know, you're fighting against so many other good players out there, not just from this country, but from all over the yeah. world. Because it's every every guy in the world loves that game, and and if they could play, they would they'll play as well. So it's 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 hard. It's tough. You go through a lot of stuff. You know, go through a lot of ups and downs. But if you keep strong, you know, yeah. it'll work well for you. So, like I said, the way it's gone for me in the last ten years, you know, if. If if when I started my career, yeah. someone said, "Look, if you, you can have it that way, <laughs> yeah. I'll I'll, I'll wow. snap their hand off." Yeah. So I thank God with the way that that's gone, and you know I'm only I believe I'm only halfway through my career. I I'm love gonna that. keep, you know, there's a lot more to come for me, and yes. not just in the national team, but in the club football, and I'm just looking forward to it. Before I go to the second question, I must mention this while we were watching the match because I was in the press box, um, you know, the match against Jamaica. There was, you know, a lo loud gasp whenever you go into the box, you know. Um, I'm sure you remember uh, Rory, Rory, uh, Rory Delap. Yeah. You know, whenever he wants to throw, you know, the crowd just go, you know, who, yeah, because, yeah. you know, they expect, you know, yeah. a long throw. Yeah. So how, how do, do you hear it, you know? I know you focus so much, you know, obviously when you're on the pitch, but do you notice the fans, you know, making, because there was a lot of sounds today, like, you know, will he score, will he score, yeah. you know, the way you just, there's a way you do it, you just run in, like, you know, hope for the best. You I know, know it's, it's sometimes, <laughs> I think sometimes you do, but a lot of the times you've got to learn to just block out the surrounding, you know, the, the fans because if you if you keep listening to it, yeah, what about the day when they start booing you? When they do make noise, they do say positive things. Yeah. It makes you feel better. They always say that, you know, the supporters are the, the you know, the 12th man on the pitch. Yes. So it, that they do definitely do play a big part. And there were times today when and I did hear it. And... Um, you did hear it. Yes, yes, I did hear it. You know, not maybe every time they did yeah. it, but, you know, one or two times definitely, you know, I did hear it, which was it's really nice, you know, because obviously um, to know that the Nigeria fans know what I can do as well. Yeah. You know, I'm still waiting for my first call for Nigeria, but I believe I that it will come that. soon. Yeah. 14, 14 caps. Yeah. Actually, the 15th tonight. 15th today, today yeah. yeah. And for me, you know, even though I'm a defender and I like to, we kept a clean sheet, I'm happy about that. Yeah. For me, if I go into a game and I haven't scored, I'm disappointed. Because, you know, when I was at Watford last season, I scored nine, nine goals. And nine goals. It's like I've scored awesome. a lot of goals in my career. So um, I go into every game giving 100%, wanting to defend well and wanting to score goals. That's, that's the way, that's what Daniel is about.
Yeah. You know, whether it's a friendly or a big game, they're all the same to me. I go in there to work hard and try and win. Lovely. The, s the second question. Do you remember that you scored and scored four and against a, a club of yours? <laughs> Out of Texas, you know. Yeah, of course, of course, of course. You know, that game, that day... That, that's for Charlton. Yes, exactly, yeah. I had something to prove because I know that a lot of the supporters there, they were very upset that Kerbishly let me go. Yeah. Um, so I know that they, they, if they could have had me back there, they would have had me back they there. Would have. But, you know, it, it's, it's always something else. So and over, there's always reasons why... It doesn't happen for yeah. you. I wish I, you know, I wish I stayed there. I wish I'd, you know, look at Scotty Parker. He stayed there and he made a, na a name yes, for he, he himself did. there. Um, so I was kind of disappointed when I had to leave there yeah. because obviously they're the one that gave me a chance to get into professional football. But you got to do these things nowadays. But so when I had to go back there to play against them, I wanted to show the supporters what they missed out on. Mm. And um, I wanted did, to... You know, some you know, footballers know if they're going to score. Do you? Did you know you were going to score that day? I was, I've scored against, you know, I've scored against most of the clubs that I used to play against, you know, which oh. is, which is was kind of interesting, you know. But, you know, I went, I went into that game. That I think of all, of all teams that I played against, that I used yeah. to play for, it was them that I really wanted to score against. Wow. And to have scored in both ends... And Alan was still the coach then? Yeah, he yeah. made you sweeter. No, 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 he wasn't oh, the he coach. Wasn't. No, 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 he oh. wasn't. He wasn't the coach then. So that was a bit upsetting because he wasn't the <laughs> coach then. But you know, I just wanted to show them that look, this is what you missed out on, and you know, to have scored in both ends it was very interesting. You know, I think, I think if I could take it back, I still wouldn't. You know, it's I'm glad that I scored in both ends yeah. because, you know, to, when you let in your own goal, usually your head falls and mm. you have a bad game. True. But I think that just made me even more determined to get up there and score a goal. Yeah. And so when I scored up there as well, and I'm glad I did it that way, letting it, you know, score an own goal before I scored up there, and I'm glad it went that yeah. way. And so, you know, to have got that point and, and Drew, because we could have gone on and won that game as well. We had two or three chances in the last couple of minutes. You know, we were disappointed, but, you know, we got a draw and yeah. I scored yeah. and all the supporters still saw what I did and what I could do and what they missed out on. So I was kind of glad with the way you know, the way it went. Yeah, great. We have to let Danny go very soon because, you know, it's not fair. You know, we journalists, you know, we just, you know, go on and on and on. You know, I have a very good friend, you know, he's just behind the scenes, you know, you know, posing and, you know, just pacing the floor. Chris um, Obkwelu, you know, I always struggle calling that name, but you know, I'll get there one day. And, um, you know, I, I notice, you know, when he goes on, he goes on, you know, you can't just get away from him, you know. And I learned from the best, you know, basically I had to say that, you know. But, you know, really, we have to let Danny go. But well, just, you know, I'm just going to, like, go to two or three more questions and, you know, Danny has to go. Um, this is an interesting one as well. I haven't asked, you know, this from any footballer before, any Nigerian footballer, I'm going to ask you, and I really want your sincere, you know, you know, your take on it. Nigerian supporters, you know, always love doing something because I was in the supporters back in 98, in France, 98. I watched all the games in France and all that. When we were nil-nil, you know, or, like, you know, we were one up, and, you know, at times they want some goals, and they'll say, you know, oh, we are saying, give us more goals. You guys, do you hear you on the pitch? And do oh, you we heard that. We heard that today. I heard it when, from the first time they sang it, <laughs> I heard that. And obviously, obviously, we, we, with the way the Nigeria team is, we don't rush to try and score goals. We try and take our time, wait yeah. for the perfect opening. Yeah. So when the crowd starts singing that, you do feel like, OK, we need to push forward more. And I'm sure there was a couple of times when they sang it where we did, rather than pass, 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 yeah. we went yeah. forward more. So it does definitely does help. But, you know, we, we'd rather wait for the right opening than rush it and then lose the ball yeah. and then they attack us. So um, we definitely hear it every time they sing it, you know.